Well, nothing silly about what's happening at uh, Windsport today. Uh, Jill is getting a very specialized look <coughs> at her fitness level with Windsport's new high performance training center. Jill, what's the verdict? Well, the verdict will be vertical here this morning, and we are doing our vertical testing here with Helen. I am feeling a little competitive and a little inferior, but that's okay because you have to start somewhere, right? And this is an example of some of the testing that you offer here at the performance training center here at Windsport for a recreational athlete that may have a goal in mind and that's what you guys are here for so we did the vo2 max uh, we did the lactate test as well so what are we doing now miranda so now we've moved more to the power and strength test and so um, we have a, a giant list of tests that we might do with national team athletes and depending on that goal and the the details of, of where you want to head we would uh, customize and tailor the testing experience to what you need. So we're giving you a nice sample of tests today and one of those samples being uh, the jump test. So okay. Helen's gonna give this a go. Yeah, Helen's familiar with this test. Yeah, so we're gonna start with a non-counter movement. Okay. And what does this measure? What is the purpose of this test for the average Joe? So we're going to actually get um, a vertical from this. And with her height and weight, then we can uh, have some power outputs. And that would be more, uh, we, we talked about endurance. This is more uh, strength based. And so we're looking at sprints. We can do um, strength tests. To, to look at actual numbers of where do, where does my squat need to be, et cetera. So there's yeah, lots, right. lots of cool stuff we can get out of this test. Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna squat down, pause, and jump. Awesome, so the next one we would do is a counter movement. So she's just gonna be able to squat right down and then back up again. Okay. And this is measuring power. Yes, we can calculate power outputs from this test. Okay, fantastic. Do we do the stool as well? Yeah, let's give that a go. So she's going to... We've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to step off with your dominant foot and your contact time is going to be as little as possible. Awesome. She does that like a pro. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. She does it like a pro. Okay, I'm going to hand off here. We're going to do my vertical okay. testing. And now everyone gets a dedicated exercise physiologist, right? Absolutely, yeah. So when you come in and you and you book your consultation, you're going to sit down and your very first thing is a two-hour <laughs> is a two-hour um, consultation where you go through your goals, your objectives, um, and then at the end of that, your exercise physiologist says, "Hey, this is what we're going to test because this is the information I need to make your program." Okay. Can I jump? Yeah, you're going to squat down, Let's go, Jill. pause, and jump. Awesome. And the same thing, only this time, keep your hands on your hips, okay. and you're just squatting down and jumping back up. Great. Look like a pro, too. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, let's check out the numbers here. <laughs> What's the difference? Not that I'm competitive at all. So you had 23.8. Uh -huh. And Helen's was 33.4. 33.4. Okay, centimeters, right? We're yes. talking here. I, I have 10 centimeters to go before... I come even close to an Olympian, guys. <laughs> well, yeah, let's just say that Helen's been training her entire life to, uh, you know. It was her job. To push to things fair. with her legs and yeah. her glutes. Yeah. So I wouldn't feel so bad if I was a Uh Gadget guy coming back to talk.